So I finally got my rear axle shaft for the Tao Tao 125 Chinese ATV. This is the old one. This will be the brand new one. The issue with spinning, those grooves out here, they say, I don't know how to say that, it'll be faded out. They got whirl, tear out. So, it wasn't properly linking on the rear sprocket housing here or hub. So with the new one, already tried, does work. There's no problem with it. So one hand fit, put it in. It won't spin at all. It's what it's supposed to do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and install that shaft. Place my rear disc on the other end. I'm gonna put in the wash on the other side. So you're gonna pause it for a moment. As you see, all right. So this, put my hub back in place. Put one of the washers. Now I'm gonna go ahead. Start screwing one of the lock washers as far as I could go by hand. I'm gonna place the other one. I'm gonna leave it right there. I have to install the, uh, <clears throat> the rear caliper. Pretty much put everything back in place. Every stuff for each side. First row in. Have my second one. I'm gonna get a wrench for a moment. Stand by. <laughs> All right, got my ten millimeter ratchet wrench. Gonna 
adjust the rear caliper have also the the hub as you see sluice I have to adjust that chain all right I'm gonna be putting the chains so I'm gonna stop for a moment I already placed in the the chain, I have to adjust it, so loose over here, it's actually on here, so I'm going to go ahead and lock in the, the shaft here, it's not the best, the pipe wrench, you should be able to have your right key for it, don't have it on hand, so have to go for the pipe wrench. It does the job. That's pretty much all that matters. Add some sealant here. That way it doesn't come off. You want to secure that. Pretty much locked in secure. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead install the hubs. Uh, there's two ways you could do it. You put the hub in first, or you can install the rim with the hub already pre-attached to it. Uh, I only noticed that after I took it apart. So you can actually have it right here, ready to go. So all I have to do is just put the, the knot here, just to make sure it'll come off. Which is what I'm going to do, pre-assemble the rim and the hub, and I'll do the other one just on a regular basis. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead, I pre-assemble the rim, as you see, has the hub, has the lock washers in the back, it's the front of the rim, pretty much pre-assemble. Try it this way. Goes right in, get my nut, put it in the hand, 24 inch socket.
I'm missing something. My washers. So, have my flat washer and my pressure washer. Now it should be good. Got that. Caught her pen. Pretty much this side it's assembled right now. I'm gonna go to the other side, do the same thing. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-assemble this rim right now. Uh get your hub, place it in. It's gonna turn it around. There are four 13 millimeter bolts to get in. Nothing special or fancy. Little <clears throat> in impact gun. So, little by little, each one of them. Let's go crisscross on them. Crisscross on them. Alright, we're in that side. I'm gonna go to the other side now. And I'm gonna put. Some washers, ah, sorry, the lug nuts in the other end should be good to go. It's only four of them. The bolts are 13, the nuts are 17 inch millimeters. Always use some Loctite or anti vibe lotions. Just make sure your bolts, washers, Nothing comes off. Change my socket. Bigger one. Special. Get the rim in place. Put it in. Uh, <laughs> put in the washer, flat washer, the lock washer. I'll be putting my 24 mil socket. Put my cutter pin inside and we're good to go. It's pretty much assembling the whole rear end. Uh, if you remember, now I have to adjust the rear axle and the chain as well. That I will do on the floor. Uh, that way I have the weight of the vehicle, the quad, and have less issues on it with the chain. I don't want it too tight. I want to have it kind of snug loose.